Welcome back to Certificate Course in Environmental Engineering. Now we discuss about the physical pollution. Physical pollution is the last topic that is covered in the Environmental Engineering syllabus. Physical pollution means that it's a pollution that is caused by noise, radiation and light. These three types are collectively we called as physical pollution. Physical pollution is de in, uh, defined as is the introduction of discarded material into the environment, what you might refer to as trash. Physical pollutants are often sent to landfills, which are des designated area for trash disposal in which the waste is dumped and then covered by soil. Physical pollution is due to various human activities all the pollution is mainly all type of pollution is caused by uh, mainly the human activity and some natural reason is there it may include burning of fossil fuels deforestation mining power plants etc changes the uh, this like how triggered the climate change soil erosion poor air quality and pollution of water also contribute for this type of uh, physical pollution there is a term is that there is garbage does not exit in nature in natural system any waste generated by one organism become useful input to another that is a philosophical thought related to waste management any output generated in the system are utilized and nothing is left as waste everything made by nature return to nature that is a simple things that can be you can remember in your mind everything made by nature and it's written to nature the physical pollution include noise pollution radiation pollution and light pollution the three the, the, these three type of pollution are collectively called as physical pollution there are different mainly different type of pollutions are there we already discussed water pollution air pollution soil-based pollution, soil pollution, etc. But the physical pollution means the collective uh, pollution of mainly three different components. That is noise, radiation and light. We all know what is a noise pollution. There is an unwanted sound. That is a noise. The word noise is derived from a Latin word noisia, which means sickness, in which one feel the need to omit noise is the unpleasant and undesirable sound which lead to discomfort in human beings that is a is it will be a um, comfortable one we called as it's a sound or music etc the uncomfortable mode it is sound will be a noise intensity of sound is measured in decibels that is a db we can uh, you studied in this small classes the finest sound which can be heard by the human ear is one decibel what is the maximum sound we can hear noise pollution is frequently defined as the regular exposure to elevated sound level that may lead to adverse effect in human or in other living organism is known as noise pollution the, there is a, a high exposure to elevated sound elevated sound means high level of sound that is a increased decibel sound for a long time that is called noise pollution according to world health organization sound levels less than 70 db are not causing damage to organisms regardless of how long or consist the exposure is uh, below 70 decibel we can we cannot be considered as a noise pollution or sound pollution noise pollution there are different types are there there are mainly four different types that is continuous intermittent impulsive and low frequency pollution are there uh, continuous pollution means it is a type of noise pollution that is produced continuously by machinery that does not stop working continuous uh, noise is a noise which remains constant and stable 
for a given time period. The, the noise of a boiler in a powerhouse is relatively constant and can therefore, therefore be classified as a continuous source. The continuous pollution means it is a type of noise pollution that is produced continuously by machinery that does not stop working. Continuous industrial application uh, machineries produce large amount of sound or noise that uh, continuously. That type of pollution is called continuous pollution. Then intermittent noise is a noise level that increases and decreases rapidly. This might be caused by a train passing by, uh, passing by or factory equipment that operate in cycles or aircraft flying above your house. We measure the intermittent noise in a similar way to continuous noise with a sound level meter. The instrument to used to, to measure the sound is a sound level meter. It's a handheld device. It is a um, it shows the intensity of sound as a decibel. Sound level meter is there uh, available in the market to measure the intensity of sound. Then impulse noise usually consists of a short duration that is a less than 100 to 200 milliseconds. High amplitude burst of noise energy that is much greater than normal peak of uh, message sur uh, circuit noise. Impulse noise is un usually caused by lightning storms and alternate transmitted by electromechanical switching system etc. That type of called impulsive noise that is a less, uh, duration is less. Source of impulsive noise pollution include explosions, uh, then seismic air guns and um, percussive pile driving etc the turbine wind offshore turbines installation etc that type of process will cause large amount of uh, large intensity noises then low frequency noise consider as the frequency range from about 10 hertz to 200 hertz cause extreme distress to number of people who are sensitive to its effects, the sensitivity may be result of heightened sensory response within the all or part of the auditory range or may be acquired. Then what are the co causes of noise pollution? Uh, the main causes of uh, uh, noise pollution including industrialization, vehicles, event, construction site, etc. Uh, we all know industrialization has lead to an increasing noise pollution as the use of heavy machinery such as generator, mills, huge exhaust fan, etc. Resulting from the production of unwanted noise, that is industrialization will cause noise pollution. Then vehicles, vehicles means uh, in increasing the number of vehicles on the road are the second reason for the increasing the noise pollution. Large, the number of vehicles will increase the noise level also increased and the old vehicle have large in our high sound compared to new generation vehicles events um, there is a third uh, cause effect factor that is events wedding or public gathering involve their loudspeaker to play music resulting in the production of unwanted noise in the neighborhood that is a events that cause noise pollution then fourth one is the construction site, mining, construction of building, etc. And to the and it causes noise pollution. Large amount of sound will be uh, generated during the construction or mining purpose. Um, the some of the examples of noise uh, noise pollution uh, that is unnecessary usage of horns in the vehicle, using a loudspeaker either for religious function or political purpose unnecessary usage of fireworks, industrial noise, construction noise, noise from transportation such as railway, aircraft, etc. Next we are going to deal with the effect of noise pollution. What are the effect of noise pollution? Noise pollution can hazard us to human health in the following way that is a uh, it causes hypertension, hearing loss, sleeping disorders, cardiovascular issues. These are the main uh, issues related to the noise pollution. Hypertension means it is a direct result of noise pollution which is caused due to the elevated blood level for a longer duration. High amount of uh, large frequency sound we can in long period 
we can feel uh, some type of uh, elevated blood level or blood pressure etc that is called hypertension hearing loss constant exposure of human ear to a loud noise that are beyond the range of sound that human ear can without stand damages the eardrum resulting the loss of hearing that is a for example fireworks huge amount of sound from a small duration that could cause hearing loss then sleeping disorders lack of sleeping might result in the fatigue and low energy level through the day affecting everyday activities noise pollution is harms the sleep cycle leading to irritation and uncomfortable state of mind if one religious activity is uh, going on your near to your house it will affect your sleep there is a large mic set speakers produce large amount of sound and disturb our sleep then cardiovascular issues heart related problems such as blood pressure level stress and cardiovascular uh, disease might come up in a normal person and a person suffering from any of these disease might feel a sudden shoot up of this level hearing this type of huge or sudden sounds then how we prevent this type of noise or how we prevent the noise pollution there are different measures to prevent um, so noise pollution that is honking in public places uh, place like teaching institute hospital should be banned in commercial hospital and uh, industrial buildings adequate sound proof system should be installed then musical instrument sound should be controlled to desirable limits dense tree cover is useful in noise pollution prevention explosive should not be used in forest mountains and mining areas then can be um, uh, different rules and regulation to implement to prevent the controlling of the noise pollution after 10 pm we cannot uh, allow to use the large mics or sound systems thank you for watching